Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle Reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Shamanic Healing Oracle Cards and the card for today is entitled Burden. Now, in our relationships, when we notice that we are, we seem to be carrying all the burden in the relationship, we need to take a pause and ask ourselves, why are we carrying all this burden? Are we carrying it because of uh, charity that you somehow feel that at this moment the person is incapacitated and unable to really help themselves at this moment? So it's like you reach out to a person to help them carry their burden, but not in a sacrificial kind of way. You want them to somehow sooner or later be able to rise and uh, somehow to give them that capacity to stand on their own in the future. So it's like you help them so that they can stand on their own. It's sort of like helping them to empower them. Now, if, for example, the motive behind carrying the burden is in order to earn their love, then there is a need for you to take a pause and try to ask yourself with regards to your valuing of yourself, your self-value. Oftentimes, we carry the burden of others if it is not in a mature way we oftentimes it is because we would like to earn their love. And if that motive is trying to earn their love, when we do things, when we do things not out of love, not out of sharing, sharing with them our love, and we do not expect them to return that love, if that is that way, then there is no problem. But if the motive behind carrying the burden is in order to earn their love, then we need to re-examine our life. It could be that our self-esteem or our value of ourself is a little bit low. And oftentimes when we deepen our relationship with the divine, when we start to undergo transformation, we start to realize our true value as a person, that we are worth loving no matter in what stage we are in our life. Because our experience of relationship with the divine in our life, we realize that the divine loves us no matter what. Whether we are committing mistakes, whether we are already growing, the love of the divine doesn't change. We experience how it is to be truly loved unconditionally. And so what happens is we learn to love ourselves unconditionally and we realize that we do not need others to feel loved. It's only that loving relationship with the divine and our loving relationship with ourselves that the source of our happiness is within us already. And if ever we reach out to other people, it is out of compassion, out of wanting to share with them the gifts that we have received from our relationship with the divine and from our relationship with ourselves. And when we reach out for, with that kind of approach or that kind of energy, we have good boundaries. We are able to detect if some people are already taking advantage of our kindness and we can immediately and honestly tell them uh, no, okay, something like that. You can uh, or immediately and honestly tell them I can only help you up to this part and you have to do your part also. So if you are reaching out to people with that kind of energy, that high self-esteem, that love, that you, that knowledge that you are loved unconditionally by the divine and that you do not need the love of others in order to feel happy, then you are able to also interact with others having good boundaries. You can say no. You can also tell others to do their part, to contribute their part, and at the same time also you are able to detect also those people who drain you of your energies and you are able to say no to them or avoid them. 
you are able to discern more because you are not dependent on the affirmation of others. You are not dependent on the acceptance of others. Besides, when we reach into a relationship with that energy of uh, needing to earn love, oftentimes it is also detrimental to the beneficiaries of our love because it will, we will tend to cuddle them too much and the dynamics of the relationship will be uh, unbalanced wherein you are the one who is just giving and they are just receiving and receiving. And what happens is you do not empower them. They are not able to stand on their own. So when crisis comes and you are not there for them, then they do not know how to do it. So in a certain sense, it is not also a, chariti a charitable kind of love because instead of empowering others, we make them dependent on us. And the dynamic is not quite healthy, both for you and the recipient of your love. Because what happens is that it's a one-way thing. You just give and give and give, and they just receive and are not thinking. Most of the time, they do not think of also returning the love that you give. And so what happens is you grow tired of the relationship, and then you withdraw. When you withdraw, they start to long for the love that you were given, and then they will start running after you. And then what happens is a vicious cycle. It's like a, a running, a, a, a tug of war kind of relationship wherein uh, the participants do not give love equally. And the important thing there is each one should contribute in carrying the burden of life. And it only comes out when you have a high self-esteem when you recognize your value as a person because of your relationship with the divine. So the relationship with the divine is very important for us to have a healthy relationship with others because the divine teaches us how it is to be loved unconditionally. And sooner or later, we learn to love ourselves unconditionally. And when we do that, we also learn to have good boundaries. We give love. We allow others also to grow in the love that we give but also, we also have good boundaries, knowing whether the love that we give is beneficial or already detrimental for others. And so we are able to say no. We are able also to help others to stand on their own. Now, to understand it more fully, let us try to read the handbook that accompanies this card so that we can understand more about burden. Many times, we take on the stress of those we love and care for. We see it as the ultimate sacrifice. We take on others' burdens to save them the trouble or heartache. Ironically, the way energy and the universe work makes this a very counterproductive way of operating. When we take on the burdens of others, we deny them the ability to learn and grow from their own lessons. We also interfere with divine planning and timing. Never want to be thwarted. Any lessons circumvented will absolutely reappear, sometimes with much more force than what was originally intended. So oftentimes when we cuddle too much other people, what happens is the universe will again try to give certain situations to wake them up. And if you cuddle them too much, what happens is the more they, they become immature in the relationships. And so sometimes tower moments come in order for the universe to wake them up. Now, if you are able to love them in a, a different way, wherein you love unconditionally and you love them in a mature way you also allow them to stand on their own and so the universe need not necessarily have to resort to tower moments or to crisis in order to wake a person up so let's continue ask yourself if you or another is taking on troubles and lessons not belonging to them out of a need to be needed 
This stems from the fear that you or they are fundamentally not enough. This is not true. You are created perfect. Your fears and doubts keep you separated from this truth. This is the separation one can feel from Creator. Once you accept and believe you are perfect and worthy, the tendency to make yourself invaluable to others through your help and assistance will go away. Your relationships can then be based on truth and not manipulation. Yes, what happens is when you try to love others in order to earn their love, in a certain sense, it's a form of manipulation. And at the same time, they will also manipulate you. You also become a victim or vulnerable to being manipulated. Because what happens is that uh, they will starve you of the affirmation that you are looking for. And so what happens is the more you try to give them, uh, the more you try to carry their burden. And what happens is they, you feel, in the end, you will feel as if you have been taken advantage of or manipulated. But at the same time, the dynamic that you have, un you have used also is that of manipulation. It's just that you are trying to manipulate the situation or the person by smothering them with love while the other person manipulates you by depriving you of love. And so you see it's a vicious cycle. It's like a washing machine or a tug of war. The important thing here is to deepen your relationship with the divine, to experience unconditional love from the divine, and to learn to love yourself unconditionally and to not depend on others to feel loved that you will still be happy whether you are in a relationship or not. And when you reach out to other people, it is because you would like to reach out in love. And if it is not returned to you, you will not be affected by it because you know your value. You know that no matter what, you are loved and the divine is there and that you are not alone. You no longer need others to make to feel that you are not alone. Even if you are alone, you still find joy because you have a deepened relationship with the Divine and a deepened relationship with yourself. Well, that's it for today. I hope you are able to benefit from our timeless oracle reading. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.